How's it going people and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to talk to you about a concept that you may be familiar with either from Buddhist theory and principles or through Stoicism and that's basically the concept of first arrow, second arrow. Now the first arrow, second arrow concept refers to when you are faced with something that causes you some sort of pain, harm or discomfort. The first arrow is the initial shock, the initial harm, pain or suffering that you're caused with regards to that. And then the second arrow is actually your reaction to what happened. So first arrow is the event. The second arrow is your reaction, those consequential sequences that happen thereafter. And the story, the fable and the theory goes that while you may not be able to control the first shot, the first arrow that comes in and causes you that harm or distress or uncomfortability, you are able to control the second one and you are able to employ some tactics that will stop that arrow from landing. It's a very interesting concept to obviously explore and look into further because it obviously helps you gain some more control over the reactionary element of when you are put in an uncomfortable situation or you are faced with stress or distress because ultimately you have control over your attitude, your mindset and your reaction to what has just happened. And it's good first and foremost if you're looking to kind of adopt this principle and maybe become less reactionary when you are faced with those struggles is to focus on first and foremost trying to identify what those triggers might be. Maybe it's a person who winds you up and they are very good at winding you up perhaps. Maybe there are specific events that cause you certain distress and they come around at a certain time. Maybe it's cyclical and just to focus on those initial triggers to find out what those might be so that you can almost anticipate them and be ready for them. It's also great to actually focus on slowing down and I know we talk about that a lot on this channel so slowing down the thinking process when that initial event happens taking that pause taking that mental stop maybe thinking of something else for a moment maybe even just taking a deep breath and then repositioning yourself so that you are stopping that process of the second arrow coming in or maybe even focusing on stepping out of the way, sort of matrix neo style perhaps. Another tactic you can employ is again, focusing on the actual cause and the distress in the first place. So that event has happened by focusing on it and then talking yourself through it in a self-talk style way in your head, just talking yourself through what happened and then almost having that dialogue with yourself on what are you going to do in the next few moments to actually navigate yourself through that is a good way to slow down the thinking and to stop yourself from being and launching into reactionary states as a result of it. Now, again, I've mentioned that it's come from Buddhist theory and thinking, but it also, you will see and have no doubt come across if you're into that kind of thing, stoic principles, thinking and practice as well. The gist of the whole concept and the theory is that events just are, and then we apply our own reactions, our thoughts, our emotions and our feelings to that, to attribute some kind of reaction or action towards it. And since we are in control of those emotions, feelings and actions and reactions, we're able to control them and maybe focus on those being more positive or step forward from if they are an event of distress or stress. Now, I hope you've liked this video. I hope that you can get something from it in terms of being able to first at least identify the concept of first arrow and second arrow thinking. Uh, while you're here, why not take a moment to check out some of the other videos on the channel too. And if you like, why not subscribe and join me on this journey too. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.